What is going on guys, it is Rated here and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create your own custom paint jobs within GTA 5 for the PC release. If you guys do go ahead and enjoy the video, let's try and aim for something over 300 likes on this video, that would be great. You guys smashed the like ratings on yesterday's video and you actually requested this tutorial to be uploaded today. Uh, so like I did say, leave a like and also leave a comment if you do create any cool customizations for your vehicles as I'm going to be showcasing them in my videos. So just hit me up on Twitter if you do create anything cool. Uh, all the links are going to be down in the description below for the tools that are needed as uh, to go ahead and do this. But starting off, you are going to need the Texture Toolkit Preview. Uh, you're also going to need Open IV and of course GTA 5 for the PC. Uh, along with a program uh, which is actually supported by Photoshop. I I'll leave a link down below it's actually a DDS extension for Photoshop if you guys are not using Photoshop simply Google a DDS extension for whatever program you are using to edit these vehicles uh, but starting off as soon as GTA 5 uh, open IV actually loads up we're gonna go down and we're gonna press update right here on the left as you can see me doing right now we're then gonna press X54 uh, we're just gonna follow exactly where I go uh, and we're just going to follow exactly what I do right here. You are going to need to go through every single one of these subfolders. Now you do see two folders once you get to this stage under levels. And you will notice the bottom folder has all of these vehicles. But that's not what we're going to be going into. We're going to be going into GT5. Then of course... Uh, the Christmas DLC update and then going ahead and going inside of the vehicles and you will notice uh, the Jester is actually there so these are all the vehicles that you can actually use uh, to go ahead and edit but I use the Jester all you want to go ahead and do is extract that to your desktop then using the toolkit all you're going to need to go ahead and do is load up that file and from here you will notice there is the custom decals for your vehicle all we're going to need to do is press on it once and then we're going to extract it to our desktop of course i already had a custom texture made well i actually made for sir weed uh, and then of course all i did is have to go ahead and open it using photoshop and it will bring up a file just like this now it won't be exactly like this it will be uh, the normal decals for a jester uh, so just bear that in mind of course i did actually create this for my good friend sir weed uh, as you can see i just messed around in photoshop for a few minutes and actually created this very nice uh, paint job on my vehicle but as you can see right now all you're going to need to do is save it as a dds file and i would recommend choosing the 8.8.8 because uh, this is going to give you the highest quality image as possible once you have saved it uh, what you want to go ahead and do is go back to the texture toolkit and then go ahead and import your file of course i already had it saved in here uh, but all you're going to need to go ahead and do from here is go to file save as and save it as the jester exactly the same name as before we're going to be editing uh in open iv and we're going to be importing our new image which is of course the jester.ytd uh, as you just did see right there if you guys didn't quite understand it then be sure to go rewind and check it out or if you do have any problems with this uh, message me over on Twitter uh, where I can reply to you and actually help you out but pretty much as soon as you've done that you're then going to load up GTA 5 again and then of course uh, find yourself a Jester uh, now bear in mind this only works with vehicles that have decals uh, such as the livery paint job and stuff like that so that's why the Jester works hopefully we will have a different way to actually go ahead and do this for vehicles that don't have decals but that's pretty much how we are going to be doing it for the time being I'm going to be creating some cool paint jobs for different people over on my Twitter page like I did say and I'm also trying to work um, on a PSD file where you guys can easily create your own custom paint jobs like I did say if you have any cool creations uh, using this then be sure to go hit me up on Twitter well I'm going to be showcasing this on my channel uh, but that pretty much wraps up the video guys I hope you have a great day and until next time I am out peace